Hello there, my name is Mo Willems, and I'd like to talk to you about a new series of books that I've written called The Cat the Cat Books, and I hope you like them. Who is Cat the Cat? Cat the Cat has lots of adventures with her friends like Dog the Dog and Bunny the Bunny and Rhinoceros the Rhinoceros, and you'll get to find out about them in stories like Cat the Cat, Who is That? and Let's Say Hi to Friends Who Fly. Is your new series for me? As I was doing the pigeon books, and then I started making the elephant and piggy books, which are early readers for older children, everybody I knew said, well, when are you going to start writing chapter books? And then when are you going to start writing books for teenagers? And I said, I'm going to make a series of books for younger kids. What do you like to write about? I like to write about friends because I think for everyone, but particularly for young guys, friends are it. And I think it's important to, to see that being a friend is figuring out how to communicate with somebody to balance the other person so that both people, or three people, or four people, or ten people, or a hundred people, can move forward and do something that they couldn't do when they were on their own. Is Cat the Cat for big kids or little kids? The weird thing about my job is, is that I am writing books for illiterates. That is to say that the audience doesn't know how to read yet. And so I have to make sure that my book, that the Cat the Cat books, are exciting for my audience, but also exciting for the orchestra that is playing the piece. And that orchestra is you. It's mom, it's dad, it's the teacher. I think the Cat the Cat books are probably the youngest books that I've made so far. I really wanted to take some of those baby books that I used to read my daughter as a kid and give them a twist, you know, give them some sort of edge. Just because you're very young doesn't mean you don't have a sense of humor. What question do you get asked a lot? People often ask me what comes first, the words or the drawings, and the answer is yes. Because you do both simultaneously. I love the beginning of a project when I'm just getting to know a character and I doodle that character over and over again and they start to come to life. And sometimes those drawings create words in my mind. And sometimes the way I write the words, if I write them big, that makes me feel like drawing a different way. Can I learn to draw a cat the cat? One of the things about all my books is I want to make sure that the lead character can be drawn by pretty much anybody. So I designed them to be really simple. So that if you like a character, you can go out and make up your own story about them. I liked Cat the Cat so much that after I made the first two books, I decided to make two more stories. One of them is called What's Your Sound, Hound the Hound? It's about Cat the Cat's friend. And the other one is called Time to Sleep, Sheep the Sheep. So maybe if you like Cat the Cat enough, you can go out and come up with your own Cat the Cat adventure. Is Pigeon in these books? I hope not. But every time I turn around, that stinker sneaks in somewhere. So, you tell me if you see him, but I, I'm really trying to keep him out of this. Will Cat the Cat teach me things? You know, I, I'd love it if the Cat the Cat books got kids excited about reading, if they helped them to learn how to read, if they helped them with early concepts, things like sounds or animals or new friends or going to bed. I'd love it if those books did all of that stuff. But ultimately, Cat the Cat books will succeed if they do one simple thing, and that's make my audience giggle. <laughs>